So did you take how many weeks did you take off from work? Uh, I actually quit my job. This is cool. Look at this. The Navajo Bridge. Are you tired of seeing my helmet here? Well, get used to it, because it's here to stay. <laughs> helmet hair don't care. This is really cool. Yeah, right? Yeah, Entering Navajo Reservation, U.S. Department of the Interior. Yeah, trip. Oh, so one you drive over, and this is the one you walk over. Oh, yeah, here, yeah. Okay. And then there's another big, huge bridge over on the other way. Navajo Bridge has been placed on the National Register of Historic Places by the United States Department of the Interior August 13th, nice. 1981. An engineering That's landmark. 467 feet down. Wow. 834 feet across. And the arch is 600 feet. Wow. Look at that. Look at that green water down there. Wow, look at that. That is really cool. You can just picture going through there on a canoe or something. What did you say was over here? Oh, rafters, okay. There they go. Yeah, that would be awesome. Oh, where'd it go? Wow. Yeah, the water's coming around and flowing back upstream. Usually the water's like this brilliant emerald green. It's a little dark right now. It's so green. Wow. Man, that looks There's really, more up there. really far down there. 467 feet. Oh, I'm getting uh, vertigo. Look at that. They're way down there. That's so cool. Oh, it makes my stomach churn. <laughs> I'm such a wuss. This is making me have vertigo. It's amazing how they made this thing though. Oh yeah, you imagine you guys hanging out in the middle of nowhere, doing all these rivets and everything. I can't even look down right now. They didn't have any safety laws back then. Or, yeah. You know, you didn't have to wear a harness, hard hat, nothing. Yeah. So climb out there and do those rivets or you're fired. We'll get somebody else. They just go on and on and on. All the way we're surrounded by them.
you know, weighed me down, and we got to talking. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, he wanted me to go out with him again. So we, we, were, we were planning on just, like, doing this, like, little loop, going back through Valley of the Gods, and then just continuing on east on, I forget what road it was. Yeah, it was... It runs. It runs to Cortez. I know that. Well, yeah, it runs yeah. to Cortez, Colorado. Colorado. And uh, he ended up. So we ended up getting on one of those gravel roads, man, or one of those sand roads. And that's why I said, like, I don't choose to. <laughs> you know, like you get a couple miles in, though, and it's like, what am I going to turn around? Like, yeah. what's the point? I might as well yeah. keep going. It was like 23 miles on a day like this, fighting a bike like that in the sand, man. It was so hot, and uh, it was just like it was. One of those days where it was like, man, I can't, like, it was so awesome. It's like, you know, I got, I mean, it really built up my confidence, yeah. forcing myself to have to ride the bike and stuff like that. It's like, I was really excited about it, but at the same time, it was just like wearing you down all day. Oh, yeah. Dropping the bike, pick it back up, drop the bike, pick it back up. There See, and that's definitely like struggling. The, yeah. this, man. I've only been able to pick it up once with the gear on it and after I dropped it because yeah. I always have to unstrap it. It's too heavy. Yeah, well, yeah, most was, times it's because it's because it rolls, you know, it tries to roll off from underneath yeah, it. Yeah, and it's, which is under it takes yeah, so yeah. much effort because the weight's all so high. Yeah. Five gallons oh, of gas. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you take how many weeks did you take off from work? Uh, I actually quit my job. <laughs> and, and oh, okay. I, all right. I haven't worked in like Some two people months. do that, you it's know. Been, that's... Yeah, it's been two months since I've had a job. <laughs> Well, like, I had the trip planned, and then my mom was getting married in Hawaii. So, like, they were kind of, like, going hand in hand. Like, I was going to work two weeks in between, but I quit my job, like, three or four or five days before I left to go to Hawaii. Just one morning, my boss was being a douchebag. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you got to walk. I've he, done that. Yeah, and he said his words, and I, like, I didn't, you know, I'm normally the kind of person that, like, blows up and, like, beat you up and say something crazy to me, you know what I mean? Like, right. And, uh... I didn't say nothing, you know, all the guys in the shop were construction and we all split up to go get in the trucks to go to the job site and I like went and got my truck and drove straight home. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, probably not. Yeah. But yeah. So perfect opportunity to take a long motorcycle tour. Is this your first one or have you been on several? This is my longest one. Longest one? Last year I did 10 days, uh, 4,600 miles. And I just went from Indiana straight south to Louisiana, across, uh, up to the Grand Canyon, Colorado, and Are you used to this kind of heat? Is, do you get that kind of heat there, or is it no. humid? No, it's, in Indiana, I mean, it gets kind of hot. Indiana's got a little bit of everything. I mean, it can be really hot, but it's humid. It's humid, like this isn't. This doesn't bother. Yeah, the, the dry weather's fine, yeah. But I'm like not a cold weather person, even though I was born and raised in Indiana. Yeah. Like I hate the snow. Yeah. I don't. Like, <laughs> Like, I would much rather it be 100 degrees than 50 degrees. Yeah, like, I grew up in Montana. And a lot of people prefer 50, you know? I'm just not a... I'm 70 I mean, yeah, but I'd like... Uh, I just don't like being... Cold. Where's your license plate, boy? License plate, been gone since somewhere around Crater Lake. I'm not really sure. That's the second plate this year, actually, I've lost. That was a brand new one before I left. I just bolted it on before I left. Yeah, Crater Lake is nice too. Uh, and I got so lucky too. I got there on the day that I got there. It was, it was just like this. Yeah. Uh, and I know a lot of people get there and because of the elevation, it'll be really foggy or really covered. No, it was just like there was like three clouds in the whole entire sky. It was just absolutely you know, gorgeous. Oh, the lake looked like, I mean, it looked like it's, it's blue as my yeah. bag. It was just... Yeah, and this is like a mirror. Yeah, yeah. it was... Oh, yeah. It was blue, yeah. I mean, I got pictures here, but yeah. It was so cool. Yeah. All right. <coughs> right on, man. Have a good trip. Yeah. We're going to head out yeah. and get a little warm sand. Yeah, going so. Nice to meet you. Towards the North Rim or towards Page? Uh, we're going back to Kanab tonight, and then uh, so we're right. hitting the North Rim someday. We're, we got kind of like... Ideas of where we'll go, but no schedule. Yeah. If you guys get a chance, there is a condor sitting on that other bridge over there. Oh, really? Uh huh. All right, we're gonna cross over the Navajo Bridge. Just met a nice boy from Indiana. I didn't get his name. Did you? No. Wow! Look at this. This is so awesome. So where's that condor that guy was talking about? I didn't have a car. Okay, we're turning into here. Yeah, turn around here. So we're at 3537. Right? Oh. Wow, this brings back memories. Yeah. Where 
where do we do a UE? Well, that was very cool. I, I enjoyed being able to walk across that bridge and seeing some more history and seeing some more scenic stuff along the way. And, and I've been across this bridge at least four, maybe five times. Look at this. I've never been Look able to stop at this. Anything. This is just amazing. Very cool. Wow. Wow, that's cool. Glad we got to do that. Yeah. All right, on to Lee's Ferry. And what was it you were reading about that? Uh, there's some guy named Lee that overcame insurmountable obstacles to uh, open this ferry, and it was considered the northern gateway, or the, uh, yeah, the northern gateway of Arizona, like the only way to get from Arizona to Utah or across this area, yeah. was to go across this ferry. Okay. And it operated for, uh, to the late, you know, late 1800s into the 1929 when the bridge was built. And then when the bridge was built, they put the ferry out of service. Look at this. I uh, wonder how much it is. Wow, look at this. Look at this. Wow. Yeah, it's free if there's nobody there to stop it. Um, <laughs> look at this place. This is so cool. It kind of reminds me of uh, Moab. Doesn't it? Uh, well, yeah. Wow. Same sort of red rock idea. On crazy, real. Uh, what a cool place. upriver from the bridge. I didn't know if you were turning it off, so thanks for the heads up. Look at this. Is that awesome or what?
So we're at Lee's Ferry. We came on this another back road next to the Navajo Bridge. And this is the river road next to the river. Colorado River. I just, I'm, I have no words. It's just amazing here. It's beautiful. There's a campground. What more could you want? This is great. So this is Lee's Ferry Campground. They've got these cool little half Quonset huts. Keep the sun off your picnic table, which is very nice. Nice, clean bathrooms. But what a what a backdrop for your campsite. Obviously, it's dry camping. And no hookups. But what a view for your campsite. Look at that. Very cool, very cool. Nice. What a great spot right there. Wowzers, wowzers, wowzers. Found another really cool spot to pull over. Um, we're down there. And now we're over here. How cool is that? I mean, wow. It's just an amazing vista. Right here.